Okay, before we get into this, I just want to say, this is the best season ever. And I want season two. And you're going to want season two in like two days. So 8,000 likes in the first day. I will do everything I possibly can to post this next one as soon as possible. You are going to love it. Enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, fellas, I am so excited to announce my next online franchise full season team that's going to go hand in hand with the Texans. Guys, it is the... No, I, I'm acting like it's not in the title. The Detroit Lions. This has been the most heavily requested team all year. A lot of you guys wanted me to do this at the start of the year. A lot of you guys have been asking for this for a very long time. I am beyond excited. I'm glad I waited till after the draft. The amount of storylines this team has is amazing. Now, all I ask, and this is the same thing I did with the Texans. The Texans, I did three seasons in like, or two seasons in like five days. If you guys want this to keep coming out as fast as possible, 10,000 likes, I will have another season, season two. So if you're gonna enjoy the story by the end of this, kill like button, guys, boom, look on the screen. I, I could cry right now. There is nothing to me, the childlike one. Also, you guys, you see that mentor rookie? That's a free dev that we lucked into uh, by picking the Lions. And I am going to get to in a minute, but guys, the Detroit Lions had a wicked draft class, a controversial draft class, um, in some ways, they have a quarterback, not necessarily controversy. Hendon Hooker isn't going to be playing in this year. They got a running back. They have a modern St. Brown who is an absolute stud. I got the chance to interview him. Um, I'm excited guys. This is my first question that I'm going to ask just in the comments. Who are you guys most excited for on this team to see? We're going to go through the depth chart as I always do go slowly. I'm going to click this mentor rookie though thing right now because this is the luckiest thing. So if you ever get mentor rookie, I'm going to teach you guys something. This is the start of an online franchise. If you ever get mentor rookie, okay, you click it. You cross your fingers that it's Jameson. Jameson Williams has asked a lot of questions in camp. He's eager to learn more. I'm going to spend some extra time with him in practice. What should I focus on? Click long-term development. Give him some insight on how you've gotten to where you are today. Let him know that he did six himself. There's nothing stopping him from becoming a star in this league. Boom. Sounds good, coach. I'll make sure to have some conversation with him this week and teach him some tricks of the trade that I've learned over the years. Boom. Next week, which is going to be preseason week two, I should, because I picked long-term development, guy Jamison Williams is about to become a superstar before the season even starts. Okay, so now that we know we are about to get Jamison Williams, we're going to get to Jamison Williams. We, I want to talk through this depth chart um, or through this roster in about as much detail as I can and let you guys know the storylines some of the big decisions that need to be made. Uh, the first big decision that the Lions are winning, I think part of the reason why they drafted him, is Jared Goff only has two more years left on his deal. He has 30 million. He's owed 30 million in 2022, 31 million in 2023. Whether or not he's going to be a $30 million quarterback after that, that is the question. He's only 20. So this is the interesting thing about Jared Goff. Jared Goff is coming off of the best season of his career. Hendon Hooker is dealing with an injury where I don't even think realistically he can play for a while. Jared Goff last year threw 29 touchdowns and seven interceptions. To start off this, um, especially realism-wise, because Hendon Hooker isn't even going to be able to play, um, Jared Goff is going to be our quarterback. Now, in terms of a Madden quarterback, is Jared Goff your dream quarterback? No, but he can do everything pretty good. Speed, no. It's, I'm not going to be running the same offense as I've been running, which I think is honestly a good thing. It's a, a non-mobile quarterback. Um, he has 89 throw power, 81 deep accuracy, 85 medium, 96 short. He's accurate. Um, he's coming off of a really good year. He's only 27 years old. This is the most bizarre thing about this. So he's played in the NFL for six years, okay? Technically, seven. He's 27 years old. His XP bar is 12,000. So, okay, let's just say that. Now we go to Hendon Hooker. Okay, and I'm going to talk lots about this guy. His XP bar, because of his age being a factor at 25 years old, the bronze development um, and being selected a little bit later. Now, he is coming out. Of course, a lot of people thought he was the most pro ready. But like I said, because of his age, he's got a pretty big XP bar. It's, he's not going to upgrade like this. It, it's just simply not going to be the case. So it leaves me in a position where this is where my head's at. I potentially give Goff this year. Let's see where I get with Goff. Maybe I make him a superstar. Maybe I make him the go. Realistically, Hendon Hooker's not starting year one anyways. But with Hendon Hooker, this has a shelf life. 
Like the dude's 25 years old already. The way XP works in this, if I want to get him to, let's say, a 90 overall field general, I, I got to work quick. Every year that I don't use him, that XP bar is going to go to 10,000. It's the toughest decision on the team. But Jared Goff is going to be our quarterback. Now, let's go to the running back. One of the most interesting moves that they made, the Lions fans were shocked about, was when they got David Montgomery and then drafted Jameer Gibbs. They no longer have Swift. David Montgomery is a very capable backup, or a backup. He's going to be our backup. Um, 86 break tackle. He does a lot of things really well. You guys know him from Bears franchise. I will be using him. He's an 84 overall running back. But the main man with the plan was their earliest pick, Jameer Gibbs. Now, I want to double check his number. Um that he is using 94 speed. Not, this is the kind of the face of the franchise, year one. 94 speed, 95 acceleration, 90 change of direction. This guy, I think, honestly, can be as good as we want him to be. I, I truly believe he can be as good as we want it. They clearly saw something in him. He's going to be their starter. Like I said, his, as far as jersey number, I don't know what he's going to be picking, but we have a running back of the future. Star development out of Alabama, 90 change of direction. I think I can make this guy into an absolute stuff with that size and speed. Boom. Now, what makes this team not the most difficult rebuild ever, but an interesting team is St. Brown, who I actually, like I said, I, I had the pleasure of getting to interview this guy. Um, we'll actually play Madden against him and interview him a little bit. Um, I love St. Brown. I took him in fantasy. I just, I honestly think he's such an interesting player. I love this. My favorite thing about St. Brown is the story. Like, he really was not expected to be much. These are the people that I think are the coolest. Like, a fourth-round pick to be a superstar receiver and to be the favorite target of Jared Goff. To me, that deserves three claps. Um, he's going to be our number one target. But you also have a guy named Paging Agent Jameson Williams. Now, this guy is about to become a superstar. This is the reason a lot of you guys want to see this team. 98 speed at 6'2" is absolutely freaking disgusting. I think he's about to become a superstar. Um, I don't know if he actually officially got his number switched to one. Um, that I don't know. I can't answer that question. Uh, I know there was talks that he was trying to get his number switched to one. I'm still working on getting on that. Before game one, all the numbers will be correct. Um, but 98 speed, 97. Dude, game breaker. 81 overall. Just absolute freaking stud for the Lions. 21 years old. You have two great receivers on this team. This, this could be a win-now team. Third receiver, Marvin Jones. I don't expect to use much. Josh Reynolds, but I don't expect to use that. Guys, Khalif the Thief. You guys already know this, dude. Um, if you followed the channel, if he wasn't 28 years old, he would be much more intriguing. The third player that I'm most interested in um, is Maurice Alexander. No, not Maurice Alexander. Uh the dude, what's his name? Yeah, Antoine Green. Um, he is a rookie out of North Carolina. Um, drafted in the seventh round, but intangible-wise, the dude's kind of good. Um, 71 overall, six foot 200. I don't know if he plays, but he definitely for a seventh round pick. Uh, I was pretty surprised with how good of stats he was given, um, but his size and speed is really like one of the main things that makes him so interesting. As far as receiver-wise, though, look for St. Brown and then Marvin Jones, potentially some. But yeah, probably... Yeah. The, 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 ooh, I think Quintez... C, I think Cephas deserves better than this. And I've always liked this guy. So as of right now, I would say it would be one, two, three would be my receivers. But I wouldn't mind a big receiver. So like Josh Reynolds might see time. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, next, Sam Laporta. Um... This is a guy who, out of Iowa, one of their early picks, love him. I honestly, I have the highest of expectations and hopes for Sam Laporta. 87 speed, 89 acceleration. Uh, the dude is just an absolute stud. First tight end selected, tight end of the year. Um, unfortunately, I can't put the name together because they're saying it's like, I don't know, you, it just, EA won't let you. Um, but Sam Laporta, like I said, to, to have a tight end, to replace TJ Hawkins and his talent, and to have this, like we got... Gibbs, Jameson, St. Brown's so young, Laporte, like this is such a young team. Continuing through the O-line, you have Taylor Decker, um, who's a stud. He's got three more years left on his deal. He's your left tackle. You don't have to think about left tackle. I don't have to draft a left tackle. I owe him like 10 a year for a while. 
Jonah Jackson. At center, you have one of the best centers in the league, who I believe was just also signed to a long-term deal. He's only 26 years old. Um, yeah, he signed until 2026. Don't, even, don't stress about Frank Reg now. At right tackle, 21-year-old Panay Sewell. This guy is unreal talented. Um, if you were to build the perfect left tackle, it might look a lot like Panay Sewell. Um, you have your tackle situation. for They've done a really good job um, in the draft. Guys, the guy who I expect and I want to become the greatest rusher that I've ever had in any franchise mode, and I'm calling it right now, it's what I want. The 6'7", 264-pound um, Aiden Hutchinson. I have, a, I have high hopes for Aiden Hutchinson. I really, really, really do. Um, crazy finesse move, crazy size. I think he can be just dominant, um, and I'm excited to see what I can do. Like I said, our left end is figured out for the next many, many, many years. At right end, you got Romeo, Romeo out there. Romeo, who I always seem to play. And then you have James Houston, the fifth, I believe, out of Jonah State, um, or out of Jack is that Jackson State? Yeah, out of Jackson State, who is an 84 speed, 91 acceleration guy. Continuing, D-line wise, expect me to play Levi on, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce his last name, uh, but expect me to play him. Age, 79 speed and 81 acceleration. I really like him. Now, I left outside line. We have the Iowa connection. Um, you're going to hear me reference the Iowa connection a lot. Two rookies out of Iowa. Jack Campbell, who is a 6'5", 245-pound rookie out of Iowa. Dude's more known from being a pass coverage linebacker, but sadly in Madden, that just isn't really going to do much. Um... So his finesse moves are really low, but size and speed, I look to him to be an edge rusher, day one off the edge. Jack Campbell, I could not be more excited to use him. Middle linebacker, Alex Anzalone, this guy. If you guys watch Hard Knocks, you know Malcolm Rodriguez, 86 speed, 90 acceleration, uh, 85 pursuit, big fan of him um, in general. Big fan of him in general. Hidden Dev, too. He got Hidden Dev, I think, after Hard Knocks. Um, I don't know what that becomes. I just know that he's going to be on the field. Undersized guy, but one of those people I just cannot wait to watch on the field and root for. I think he's going to become a fan favorite of you guys. DB-wise, it's an interesting DB room. They added these two guys. Okay, Madden-wise, Cameron Sutton's not a great addition. I'm just going to call it a spade a spade. I'm going to put him as a, as a slot DB year one, but is he the long-term answer? No. Mosley is. 26 helpful. It's, it's, they're helping this secondary grow, but if there's one thing that we're going to attack, year one is going to be the secondary. Will Harris also. Jerry Jacobs at Arkansas. They have two fast guys in Dorsey and Jaron Williams, but overall, guys, this secondary is not its not the greatest thing in the world, and I'm just going to tell you that right now. It's not. It's not going to wow you. It's a zone secondary. It's not a third and ten man secondary. It is a zone blitz secondary that we're going to have to make better over time, but great thing. Brian Branch out of Alabama. 93 speed. Dude ran a really good 40. He could be our user. This guy, expect him to try me to try and get him to develop into a superstar. I think he can. I think the potential is there. I think the potential is huge with Brian Branch. I have no worries about this guy. One of the players I'm most excited about on this team. Like I said, you have Branch, Campbell, Gibbs, Hendon Hooker, and then soon I'm going to be showing you guys CJ Gardner Johnson, which you might think of CJ Gardner Johnson as, oh, he's old. It's an old addition. He's like a year and a half younger than Hendon Hooker. 5'11", 210. I've made this guy a superstar many times. Imagine this secondary, this safety duo of Brian Branch and CJ Gardner-Johnson at its full potential. This team also, I do want to mention, always has good backup safeties. Brandon Joseph out of Notre Dame is a 92 speed. CJ Moore is really good. I always, in online regs, Afuti Malafanu and Kirby Joseph last year was a rookie. He's 21 years old. I think he is... Yeah, he's star dev as well. So you have good safeties. Um, enough to run a lot of creative stuff with these safeties. You have kicker, we have Badgley, and then punter, we have Fox. Guys, I'm going to go through preseason, and then we're gonna, we'll obviously be talking way more about this. But let's go through preseason. Okay, guys, as promised, I'm going to click this button. Greatest start to a franchise ever. Oh, my gosh. Never, don't say I never told you anything. Boom! Oh my gosh! What a start to the franchise. What a start. Ten, Amandre St. Brown takes him under. That's the best. It is rare. It's like super difficult. Like, But when you get it, you have to appreciate it. Now, as far as the players that I'm most concerned with just making better, 
These are the three that I have picked to start. Aiden Hutchinson, Jamison Williams, and Jameer Gibbs. I want Aiden Hutchinson to progress as fast as possible. I want him to get crazy numbers. I'm very, very, very excited um, to see how he does. Those are the people that I'm most concerned with. Oh my gosh. Dude, this team is just a gold mine. So we also have Coach DC Quintez Cephas. This is starting. See, I like, I've always said I like Cephas. I honestly see him as my third receiver. I, I'm going to open the season plus 1,200 XP with him as my third receiver. I In like regs, that guy just plays amazing. We have a training camp standout, which usually is D-lineman related. Um, sometimes D Jack Campbell, beautiful. Let's go football IQ. Yeah, play recognition will probably help Jack Campbell the most. Plus, Jack Campbell just gets a, like, dude, are the Lions the glitch? Do they just immediately, they're so young. Everyone on this team needs to be mentored, and everyone on this team just gets crazy XP for nothing. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I want to smile. Um, Preseason, though, wise. Okay. Um, I will do the upgrades next week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom. Year one. It's time to set the season goal. Um, honestly, and I know this is supposed to be like, and I, I still believe it's a rebound. I, I think I can win the Super Bowl. Given the right situation, given the right decisions, I think I could win the Super Bowl with this team. I really, really, really do. The training camp said we have another one with Jack Campbell, um, like which is amazing. I've never been more ready, Coach. If I can somehow get two plus combined sacks, I'm gonna just blitz the league with Jack Campbell off the edge every single time because I have the potential um, to get him to become a superstar. Now, just to go for like I said, I did the big depth chart conversation to go further on the quarterback. Um, it's gonna be Jared Goff's team, at least for a little bit. And I know it's difficult to make this decision, but Hendon Hooker is technically hurt for that first year. So it's like it's part of what they knew drafting him. And I just don't think you can look at the season that was had by Jared Goff and bench him for a rookie coming off of an injury. I mean, it's just it's not something that would happen. It's not something that I'm going to let happen. It's just I'm telling you right now, not happening. Now, as far as upgrades, we barely have any right here, which is completely fine, is what it is. We're gonna go through our opening day keys. Now, the best advice I can give you guys for opening day keys is always go with stifling defense and always go stopping the run. Now, we gotta play the Eagles week one, which is going to be a little bit miserable, but it is what it beat the Eagles, allow 75 or less um, rushing yards. I'm excited for the year. Amonor St. Brown, Jamison Williams, Jared Goff at quarterback, QB1. We got the Eagles week one with all their 5,000 new superstar studs, everything. So um, let's prepare. Let's be great. Let's go beat the Eagles. Brian Branch, I'm I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. That's a good play. Smart play. Bro, like this, this Eagles team is disgusting. So we need to get stops. I'm not convinced I'm going to be able to stop him every single time. Oh, you're crazy. You gotta be crazy. Give me that, Mosley! No, 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 that's fine. Go, Mosley, go, Mosley, and ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, your 2023 Detroit Lions got off the field. Hey, he tested Brian Branch. That's a dangerous man with some money in his pocket. Okay, Jameer Gibbs, I'm gonna give you the ball. First play of your NFL career, kid. First. I love my job. So much. I love my job too much. You can't write this stuff. The first round shock selection where nobody expected that pick goes 95. On his first run. Here's Hertz to throw. He'll get this one complete. That's AJ Brown. I say he's not a good DB. I'm gonna blitz him off the edge here and see what he can do. Oh dang. And he's gonna be taking the man throwing the ball and the person calling the play. They're not shutting him down early in this game. And he is into the end zone. You gotta be crazy, bro. Like people, people are trying to play man. People are like with a straight face. We don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You 
spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablet. That's what it feels. Inside the 10. Dude, what is he doing? There's no way he's in that same coverage. There's no chance. Like, I will teach teams about Jameis Williams. I will do a lesson. Laporta. Laporta. Come on, St. Brown. Yep. Hmm, that's Belafonu. He just looks super good. He's going to Can't do this. This is just a battle. No, that's fine. Okay. If he wants to score there, like, I was worried that he was going to kill all the clock, so I'm like, I'll run commit gladly. Laporta. Laporta. Oh my gosh. Go, go. Fan, fan of him. Quintez Cephas. Get up, Fields. Yep. St. Brown. Way and hundred different. Laporta. Laporta. La no. The backup. Even better. Zystra. Well done. I didn't even realize it was him. Immediate. He, he shaded underneath. Um, I think he was trying to guard that like quick in. Did not work. Jared Goff, three touchdown passes. Touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two score game. Yeah, pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. Dude, just non announce of defense. I don't know. And he will be from the red zone now. They'll look to throw. And he's got him. Get it to a three point game. Sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't if he's in this, is, does he have a way to get to Jameis in there? No, he does not. Jared Goff on the money to St. Brown. Three minutes remain. Might just go up if it's one on one to Laporta. I like that. I like Laporta. I said one on one. I, I I'm gonna trust him against the safety. What happens? He is perfect against the safety. Can we say a GG's in the chat, please? What in the world? Tell me that saved. Tell me that saved. Tell me it did. Thank gosh. I was gonna say, if that didn't save, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, we, we're gonna talk about the stats from that game. I planned on it. I don't know. We, we glitched right back to the main menu. Um, I tried with Campbell. I blitzed him off the edge like every single play. To no success. Um... Now, the one thing I do want to talk about is how I need to better utilize Brian Branch. Um, and like I said, I always go the run stuff one. You're going to notice Aiden Hutchinson's going to get 4,500 XP. Always go run stuff. People don't run the ball anymore. I do. I love running the ball. But what I was trying to get across, is I have enough good users on this team. you know, And I, I didn't think about this until I saw, like, okay, I have this Brandon Joseph. Um, I think he's an undrafted free agent this year. I have Kirby. Like, I have, I could use her this dude. Okay, I could use this guy. What did he run? He ran a really fast 40. I could make Brian Branch a true free safety. I don't have to be the one user. Him. That's that that way. It's out of my hands. You know, that's kind of the way I look at it. Let someone with a really good overall just kind of roam on his own. I don't I don't need him to be the goat. I just don't. So that's where my head Melifonu in the slot. I would say you could probably look at this, that last game, and say there was some issues. I don't think you could look at that game and say, oh, Brett, do exactly what you did defensively. No. But, hey, offensively, five touchdowns. Everyone, dude. It was a freaking just, like, it was a parade. That guy's defense, I think, was struggling a little bit. But at the end of the day, Jameer Gibbs went crazy. Average 13 a pop. Goff, 354. Could not ask for a better start to Lions franchise. And we have the Commanders next week. I think this is the type of franchise that I could put up record-setting game-breaking numbers. I have that good of receivers on this team. Bro, what? Did I say what? Why? Who? I have a breakout. Who? I have a breakout DB. Week one. This team is... This is just poetry. I got Jameson. Who? Who? 
Will or Mosley? Like, who? It's got to be one of those, right? Ideally, I would say Will Harris would be cool to get a bunch of star dev. Um, I don't know. I didn't expect this. Dang. Yo, this is an opportunity, actually. This is a very... Less than 200 yards or get him one interception, force fumble, TFL, or sack. So, Mosley, like I said, the biggest thing that was a worry about Emmanuel Mosley and the biggest negative and the knock on Emmanuel Mosley was his development. Um, 26 years old. His bar wasn't horrible. Um, he's a good corner, but it's just it's his development. But if I get him to star, he can be a cornerstone on this team for multiple seasons. This is a huge opportunity that we're already getting in week two um, to get our second development game, which is awesome. 10 out of 10. Um, you, you love, love, love to see that. Jamison Williams is potentially about to get an upgrade too, where I can start getting some of the good abilities for Jamison Williams. This is, it's just, it's kind of beautiful. This is, this is kind of working out. Um, as far as that first game, I, I ran the offense that I felt would be best. I have a bunch of different offenses, but the, this offense is the one that utilizes the speed receiver the most. Aiden Hutchinson, plus one speed. Um, and this is an offense that requires a speed receiver. It requires them to be able to respect the deep ball to get them to push back to leave slants and stuff open. You saw in that game how many times, how many times did I throw a crossing route to Laporta? The reason that's open is because of Jamison Williams. If they can play shade underneath, if they can play normal, you can't do that with Jamison Williams. So that's what this offense creates. Um, and that's why I like this offense so much. I'm glad that we kind of got to, We're going up against the 1-0 Washington Commanders week two. Um, don't know what to expect. I just know that we had a really good week one. Let's just continue to send eight. Continue to be great. Let's go. Uh, never, but I think I can go up top to Jamison, bro. That's a, if, if that's completed... Bro, that's a dot, Jared Goff. And that's precisely what I just did. Here he's shading outside. Actually, that's just a quick beam to Cephas. Going to Cephas, third receiver. He's a walking, breathing, freaking 88 yard touchdown. Long time members of the channel know this guy. Long time members of the channel know how much I love that guy. I kind of, I should probably have. He might be my third receiver. That's too much, man. That's too good of a throw. That's got to be thrown right, and I got it. Beam. Absolute beam. It's just a matter of if I can get time. And I knew it. La Porta! Boom! Campbell. Campbell. Campbell to Hutchinson for three. Bang! Look at that throw. That's, tell me that's not a beam. Tell me I am not just throwing absolute lasers. I have scored a touchdown in every drive for two games. Test it. Test him. Test him. Dude. Thank you. How? First, but how? Did he catch that? Okay, now now we run the ball. Now we make him stop Gibbs. Now we make him this team even. Now we make him stop Gibbs. Take three here. Let's try and get that Mosley play. Take oh, had I made that throw, I would have. That would have been disgusting. Um, take three here. Let's 
blitz and see if I can get Mosley a stat. Because if Mosley gets no stats, it's not good. Branch. Branch. Shoot. GG's, guys. GG's. 2 and 0. Oh. Not 2 and 3. But through two games, okay? I had 300 passing yards in both games and five touchdowns in both. I would say probably one of my most bizarre starts. Um, I'm playing fast. I'm playing just really upset. I am playing just very, very, very angry um, is what you're seeing. Do I want to go physical or slot? Oh, my gosh. I feel like playmaker helps them the most. Like, it helps the most things. Did slot go up? Yeah, I think it did. I think it went up to 74. But like I said, through two weeks, um, if you were to look at our stats, we're the number one quarterback in the league. Ten touchdowns, no interceptions. Um, pretty unbelievable stats through two weeks of football. Um, and Jameer, we also have the leading rusher. We have Jamison, who's up there. Like same. This has been the greatest two-week. If, if it could end right now, it would be the greatest franchise ever. Sadly, it doesn't. I don't think I got this, but I may have. Yeah, see, that that's a tough one to miss. I tried, I blitzed, I did everything. At the end of the day, we wanted to win the game, but that is frustrating. Okay, Vikings, um, which is Isaac. I know he's a tough tough player. Uh, week three, we'll see you guys there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week three. Um, going up against, I know this guy's good, um, so I'm not expecting anything easy. Who is that guy? There's one face scan in this game that's like, it's like a 70-year-old. Um I don't know who that was, and I, I just, I, I have to see who that was. I can't quite figure that out. Jaron Hall. Did they draft a rookie? I didn't even know. How was I supposed to know they drafted a guy named Jaron Hall? It's kind of cold. Dang. This dude's kind of cold. He's got gr he doesn't actually have gray hair though. His like player model is mad. Okay, anytime you play I'm playing, I'm playing I guess Jaron Hall won the starting job uh, for whatever this user is doing. And we're gonna be going up against him. Obviously, through two weeks, could not be happier with statistics. We're we're, we're playing unbelievable. So let's just keep this up. Let's be great. Week three, victory, let's go. Here's Uh oh, bro. Uh oh, up top. That's a just just a beam. Back to throw, go off. Yep, Laporta, nice catch, Laporta. That was tough. That's in between two cover two zones. So I actually I threw that a little bit earlier than I think. Um, I normally like pre snap. I wouldn't have been planning. Got him. Give me a Gibbs. This is an offense. It's not a defense. This is an offense. Oh, you try Hutch. Come here. Oh, that's Jefferson. Dang. Dang, I can't leave that. Dang. Dude, okay. Branch. Branch! Branch! Wow. See what I mean? Let the kid play safety. Bro, that's Kalen. That's so freaking intense. Yeah. Come on, Hutch. Oh, it's our first little bit of adversity here, fellas. Else and I'm gonna go use her. I know. Yeah, get Buck. Melophon! Who knew? I knew he could be a dude. Did you guys see how he just played that? There's no way Kalen Barnes is sticking with him twice. Yeah, no, I don't care who you are, where you're from, what you got. As long as you love me. Boom! I was gonna say, not twice. Once Kalen, yes, not twice. I'm throwing it the second time. He's got 
Best defensive performance yet, despite the fact that our stops have not been. Here's Cousins. And he's got this to Jeff. Cousins. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. Overtime. Okay, Gibbs end it. Gibbs, I just want Gibbs to go. I'm calling my shot. Gibbs, 80-yard touchdown run. W. Calling it right now. First throw in overtime for Gong. He's airing it out for Williams. And that's caught. 1-800 different. Hello, Jameson. They'll run on first down. Yep. Call it. And they're knocking. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Gibbs. Yep. Why is my face cam off for the best moment I've ever seen? Oh my gosh. Guys, well, hey, this should be my intro. Welcome to Lions franchise. Sit your stupid self down. 31. Oh my gosh. To win it in OT? That's the most disrespectful run I've ever seen in my life. And then have the speed to go outside. 3-0, baby. 3-0. Jameson with a clutch catch. Everyone going crazy. I love this team. I love this team. 3-0. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom! Not like, dude, the push of Javier Gibbs, bro. Like, let's, the push heard around the world. Uh, Javier Gibbs just... Psh, psh, sit down. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, week four. Going up against Seahawks. Always a tough matchup. Um... Sam Laporta gets an upgrade, which is awesome. He's going to get a plus one to his vertical threat. Um, love him so far. I think he's one of the team's um, best receivers. That last game, statistically, from like an offensive perspective, maybe a little bit worse. I'm worried about the Seahawks. I'm worried about DK. I'm worried about everything. Um, but I would say through three weeks, I would say I would praise Jared Goff. I haven't thrown an interception yet. Um, it's been, we've played relatively perfect. Jamison Williams has been unbelievable. At stretching the field, 455, averaging a buck 51. Everyone on this team who we want to be great has been great. It's just a matter of defense. I just don't have it. So I'm trying to get Aiden Hutchinson. Like I said, I've been rushing Aiden Hutchinson in a lot of one-on-one -on -one situations, trying to get them just like a little bit more odd. Like just we have no sacks this season. So like, what does a man do? The Seahawks are 0-3. Um, this guy's not a bad player though. It's just sometimes you go 0-3. We let's stay. Right out of the gates, here's Smith. Uh oh, Malafonu. Got him, Laporta. Upfield, get upfield, get upfield. Yep, Laporta. Quick pass. As soon as I see that blitz coming, his user is not there. Like Jamal Adams won't stay with Laporta. Could be wrong. But I, I feel like Laporta has a chance to win. No. Good try, Sutton. CJ. Nope. Out of bounds, please. He is. Go cheat him. If he wants to go after the 101. How about her? Here we go on fourth. Smith. Mosley. Mosley covering Metcalf like that is the stuff that's going to win us the Super Bowl. That is the stuff. On first down. Gone. Dance into his left. Look at Gibbs. Look at Gibbs, man. Go, 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 go. 40 seconds. Second and 10. Go off again. That's different, bro. That's different. Throwing on third, gone. Laporta, Laporta. And the foul on the sideline. He's outside shade, right? They'll fake the handoff. Now gone. He'll buy some time right. Call 1 800 different. Call 1 800 different. Oh my goodness. Jared Goff is different, bro. Out of the gun. Goff. Goff. Like just 
Just stop the game, man. Okay, so as far as QB1 check-in, um, let's see here. I, I honestly want to protest. Like, I want to protest that. Because I don't understand how you can tell me that he didn't meet his goals. I just... You won't convince me that his goals were not met. Jared Goff, if the season ended right now, he's your MVP. I've This is the most dominant start of a franchise I've ever had. I don't think I've ever felt this unstoppable on offense. That will change. But we're looking good now. I'm staying locked in. We got the Patriots next week, which I think I can beat the Patriots. Patriots are not a good team in this game. They, I want to do a rebuild with the Patriots. Like if you want. Talk, comment if you want the Patriots. Just imagine. Just imagine. Just imagine, guys. I don't want to freak out right now, but I'm saying it. This, this would change the entire thing. This would change the landscape of the entire franchise. It, I kid you, this would, we have a breakup. We have a chance to get Goff up to superstar in five weeks. Nobody deserves it more statistically um, than him. There's not, a, there's not a single person who deserves it more um, from a statistical standpoint than he does. 15 touchdowns, no picks. The guy has been lights out. All we got to do is against the Patriots throw, I believe, for either 300 yards, which honestly... With this team, with the weapons on this team, wish upon a superstar throw. I wonder if you were interception. 350 is doable. 350 is definitely doable. But the four touchdowns is always the easiest. But it is does get dicey in the red zone. If I can pull this off and make Jared Goff a superstar, everything gets so much more interesting. I he His XP bar would go down to like 9,000. And I just... Oof. It would make things, like, it would really, really, really make things interesting on this team. Because we drafted, kind of drafted as a replacement. I don't know if you, you don't. Branch just got plus one speed. Beautiful. Uh, Alan McNeil, CJ Gardner-Johnson keeps going on. I bet by the end of year two, CJ will hopefully be like a 90 um, overall, which is awesome. I said that was a big time addition. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Patriots week. Now, this chance is, I'm not taking it lightly. I have to take this about as serious as I take any game ever. Um, I mean, I would, I'll be talking, but I'm not, like, this is a bad team. It's a good defensive team, like, really fast on defense with Chris. Like, I would honestly, I want to, let me do a franchise with these guys. Please kill. I want to make this team, I want to get the Patriots back to the Patriots. I really do. But, like, I got to be careful of Christian Gonzalez. And Marcus Jones and the Jones brothers, the three Joneses, and um, guys, three fifty or four touchdowns, superstar. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's dance, fellas. Jared Goff. Yep, I'm on, Ra. St. Brown, dude. Do you guys remember his catch from like two games ago? Just, oh, you're in. If you're in cover one, you're playing dangerous games that you don't want to play. If you're playing cover one because you think these DBs are tough. You are playing very dangerous games. And Jamison Williams is going to teach you a lesson that I that I don't want to have to teach you, but I will. No part of me wanted, I don't want to have to teach you that lesson. I don't, did I enjoy that? Mm. Everyone runs the same garbage. I just know how to stop this. Okay, I'm thinking Laporta here, dude. But I, I, mean, I will early because it's early. Okay. Oh, he boxed me. I should have ran. Okay, we got to try and get another stop defense. The awareness of a pinball machine. Back to throw. Jones. Yep. Box. Okay. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. Come on. St. Brown, be great for me. See if he's gonna cover Jermaine Gibbs. Go for a run, Gibbs. Come on, St. Brown. Run for me, St. Brown. Got him, Laporta. Thank you. That's two, dude. If Laporta dropping that last one almost gave me a heart attack. It really did. Okay, 14-0. Okay, 
Guys, I'm honestly, I need. To, <laughs> I think I'm gonna try and let him score. I'm gonna, as lame as this is, I'm gonna just let him score. I need the ball back, and I'm not risking not getting this. I'm gonna just do an accidental. Oh, oops, oops. Both my safeties are blitzing. Oops. Oh, what? Oh, oh, he's so sticky. I have no choice, dude. I'm not letting him run the clock out, and I need either. I need 350 yards, and I have that. Okay. Just pass, get seven. Get seven, get seven, get seven. Three hundred and forty eight passing yards. Two more. Two more and Goff's the superstar. Two more. Three fifty. Ladies and gentlemen, Jared Goff is a superstar. Come on, man. I freaking do this. I stress myself out though. I stress myself out though to do it. Now I can run. Give me a Gibbs end the game. Wish upon a superstar, baby. Is Jared Goff is going to be a superstar? Boom! Right at the bye week. This is huge. This is this is interesting. For, he threw for 399 and two touchdowns. This is interesting for the franchise. It's interesting. Um, I'm, I'm psyched about it. It's interesting because of the fact that this is just going to, in a lot of ways, this is going to change a lot of things. Um, it just changes my outlook on the future. It really, like, it was one thing when dude was um, a star. It's, like, pretty easy to ignore. Like, he's a star dev. Now that Jared Goff's a superstar, like, is this the Goff show? And we're just living in it? Like, I don't know. Is it the Goff show and we're just living in it? I, I gotta take a picture. I think we're just living it. Quarterback Jared Goff now has superstar depth trait. Guys, that's absolutely probably the coolest thing that I've ever done in a short period of time. So freaking tough. Um, I now get abilities with him. It's going to take a little while to upgrade him. But is this... It just makes you think. You just... You have to think when you see something like this. You got to think, like, what is the future of this team now that Jared Goff is a superstar? What does that change? Deservingly so. But, like, is it Goff or is it I'm, I, Goff's made some good throws, man. Or am I just him? 17 touchdowns, no picks. Okay, we'll see you guys after the bye week. Boom, ladies and gentlemen. Week seven. Okay, so we do have upgrades. Honestly, I just, I could not be happier about, um... The Jared Goff. Like I said, it just, it really, really, really makes this franchise so much more interesting. Um, yeah, I just, everything about this, the plot just thickens. Holy upgrades. I'm honored St. Brown. What do I want to upgrade with St. Brown? I feel like you go playmaker with somebody like him. Hope for speed. He's such an interesting player. Like I said, I have been wanting to use him on St. Brown. You know, Frank, if you guys know, I wanted to draft him forever. Aiden Hutchinson got his first sack of the season last game. Can we get three claps? It was unbelievable. Like I said, athletically, plus one speed. He's gotten two speed upgrades now. 83 speed, 89. Athletically, there's nobody better than that, dude. He is absolute freak of nature. And that's why I've been playing so much dollar, just pass committing, trying my best to get him sacked. Jared Goff gets his upgrade. Like I said, he is going to, and I actually, um, funny enough, uh, I'm going to go scrambler with him. Scrambler is the best. Plus one throw power, boom. You see, that just got his field journey up to 80, 81. Um, my plan is, with him, is I went and I got a mentor. So I have to redo my depth chart here. But I went and got a mentor for him because in, the, in this game, you, um, you're you allowed to get one mentor in the leagues. Tyrod Taylor will get him more XP. Um because like I said, Jared Goff is still only 27. Like his XP bar is a lot lower than a lot of people would expect. Now that he's a superstar, we're at a 10,000 XP bar. That is doable. 
with some good games and a mentor, I think Jared Goff can progress for us. Win MVP like we're on pace to do right now. Imagine the upgrades we could get with, the, with Duke. I'm not trying to get ahead of myself. I'm just saying everything that's going on. Cowboys week, fellas. Um, three and three Cowboys. Let's just be smart. Let's go. Okay, he seems way too pressed on Jameson over there. I, I don't know who number one is. But uh, he better have 100 speed. Laporta. Gotta throw it inside though, Goff. Beam! Beam, 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 beam. That's good defense, guys. That, yeah, you win. Might be the worst throw I've ever seen. You win. St. Brown. Bro. I was going to throw my first pick of the year. St. Brown said, nope. Laporta. Laporta. Perfect pass catching tight end. Go, Gibbs. Good fight. Laporta got him up top. Bag. Who got him? Aiden Hutchinson helped. Aiden Hutchinson helped. Let it be known. Like I said, I'm just gonna try. I'm trying to get these two, man. I'm pass committing. I'm doing everything I can. I'm trying to get these two guys. Hutchinson just needs stats. Got him. Jack Campbell. First sack of the year for Mr. Campbells. Well done, Jack. This team, bro, if I just draft some DBs, oof, I think this is a super team in a year. I really do. This has super team in a year potential. If I can get a dev, look at Branch, too. Look at how fast he moves to that. Yeah, go St. Brown. One guy to miss. Go, Raymond Khalif. And the foul for Khalif Raymond. This is was a little bit ugly. Got him, Tracy Walker. Yeah, no, 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 Jameson. This is the most, this is the dumbest team. I love these guys. This could be, if I'm not stupid and I clutch up, man, I could win some, I could win some Super Bowls. I really think so. Boom, ladies and gentlemen, week eight, okay. Holy moly. We got a week clear. This is, like I said, I don't know what makes it. I don't know what makes it, but we're looking pretty dominant. Um, So, we're 6-0. This team, the four and three, I've, I've lost this guy before. Um, he's got his two. I think he's struggling a little bit with two. I've, I've seen him mostly with X-Factor quarterbacks. Not so that he can't win without X-Factor quarterbacks. It's just some people, offense, I know he does a certain play concept that requires a lot of hot routes, which he does have with Tyree. This this is just a tough team to play with Jalen with, uh, Waddle, Tyree Kill. Sam Laporta gets an upgrade plus one pass block, which is beautiful. Um... I was a little bit surprised that Jared Goff did not get a breakout from that last week. Um, if the season ended right now, I think he'd be the most unanimous MVP of all time. 23 touchdowns to no interceptions. I don't think it would be even debatable. I think he would probably be the greatest quarterback ever seen. Um, but sadly for us, the season is not ending right now. So that is the complicated part. Who is TSAP in this? TSAP is Desmond. I know TSAP's got 2,000 yards with young Desmond. Receiving leaders, Jameson on our team is leading the league. DJ Chark. Defensively, I don't think we have any stat leaders as it stands. Sauce Gardner, Dante Jackson, sack leaders. Holy moly. Bro, this guy is 10 and a half. Through six weeks, that's a that's like a noticeably dominant amount of production. Like that is a scary amount of production. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if the draft is up yet. Um, no, we got they gotta go put it in the real draft, and then we'll talk more about the draft. But um, yeah, as far as everything goes, guys, Dolphins week. Let's go. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They go ahead and snap it. 
Okay. Tua on fourth down. He's got it. Touch to throw is gone. That's all right. They are going for it. Gone. And it's incomplete. Tua now on first down. Being straight up with you guys, this this would sting. On play action. Here's Tua. What's a beam? Third and long. It's gone. He's airing it out for Williams. Got him. Time out. It's a beam, Goff. Hey. We fight, fellas. You get, there's gonna be tough ones. We gotta fight through them. We gotta fight through them. Got him. Okay. Defense, we can stop him. That first drive, he had a fourth down completion. If we can just keep him like from getting those, I think we got a very good chance. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Okay. As long as it's not seven, we got a chance. Here's Tua. He's dialed in. He's dialed in. Okay. Let's just try and get some points. I don't know. This was a This is a trap game. On second and inches. Golf. I was under pressure. One last throw here for Golf. Got him. Good dog. Okay, at least hey. We leave knowing that as the game went on, I felt like I got a little bit better. Um, but not a good performance. But I needed loss. I got to get back to the run games. I got overconfident in my passing. And I think when you get overconfident in your passing and you neglect someone like Jameer Gibbs, you need a check. And I think I just got checked. And I think I just got figured out like, hey, I got to be smart. I got to run the ball. And uh, that's where I'm at right now. And we're going to do everything. We know that was a weird camera. I'm going to do everything I can to get Jameer Gibbs. But like he had four rushes that game. Goff played good and Goff can carry us. He had 273 and two touchdowns. But I also got stopped by getting sacked a lot. So next week we got a huge. We're playing against the undefeated Bears. The Bears user loves the Bears. He's always good with the Bears. Um, and this is a huge game for the division. It's a huge game for everything. Jamison Williams gets a much deserved upgrade. Plus one catching, plus one spin move. He's up to an 84. Um, Julian Acora gets an upgrade. But yeah, like I said, oh no, it's a Packers next. The Packers is actually not here for this game. I actually have a break. Um, this rarely happens mid-season, but this guy is working. Um, he asked to be able to stay in the league and he had played enough. So we have a force win week nine. And then uh, the week after, we go to Chicago to play against a very, very, very tough Chicago team. So... Like I said, no game week nine. A little bit of a break here. And then I'll see you guys in Chicago in the Windy City for a big one. Whoa, we got a big one, fellas. 8-1 um, and one versus 7-1. and one. This is the battle of the division. Me against Jake. Um, a very good Bears team. I'm going to give you guys an update on um, league standings as it stands. The Falcons are 7-2. and two. I'm 7-1. The Panthers are 7-2. and two. Um, Eagles are 5-3. and three. We're kind of, we're sitting near the top. Of this, and we want to be at the top of this. I don't. I don't want to lose. Um, the more like I can just keep winning, the better we're gonna set ourselves up. Atlanta is like a sneaky tough team because TSAP has Bijan. Um, it has Pitts. Like it has a lot of really, 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 really solid talent on that team. Jack Campbell gets an upgrade, which is awesome. I'll show you guys the um, results from the force win that we just got as well. Um, they're relatively good. I always hate interceptions and force wins. It just bugs me. It just makes me mad. I get upset. I get really, really, really upset. But one really cool thing uh, that I want to show you before I go to anything, yearly awards, guys, the current MVP of the league is Jared Goff. Number one for MVP, 28 passing touchdowns with 149 passer rating, 2,400 yards, 28 touchdowns to two picks. Guys, let's keep this up. That's all I'm going to say. Let's just, let's keep this up. We're playing amazing football right now. Um, we got a chance for our team to get a lot better from this. So let's just keep it up. In the force sim, um, we actually got some, we had some good things happen. I'll say that we had some good things happen. Jared Goff threw once again for like 
300 or 284, three touchdowns. St. Brown. And then on defense, I was really happy with this. Aiden Hutchinson got two sacks. Made me very, very, very happy. We have staff points that we need to spend before this game. Um, like I said, this is probably of the biggest game in a while. Um, I want to start. It's so difficult to know what to do. I feel like player, this is a big one. And I want to go the quarterback side. Yeah, this this is a big one. And I, I think it's going to be most important initially for me to get this offense. My defense is not necessarily, I don't want to say a lost cause, but. Like, increasing uh, XP gains for quarterbacks by 20% is significant. I think that's a really, really, really good boost that's needed. Now, the Bears. I don't know what he's running. I know what he runs. I don't know if he's running something different with the Bears than what he normally would run. I think that's going to be the big question. We, we've only, we haven't played him yet. So, it's just going to be a matter of what is what kind of offense is he doing. Is Justin Fields running, like, DJ Moore, obviously, 93, Claypool... Um, they drafted Tyler Scott, a 97 speed rookie. They're kind of filthy. Like this is actually a good team. So step up or step out. Let's go. That, that's going to be my thing. I want to get the run game going, but I also like, I'm kind of in the running for most valuable player in the league. So it's like, mm, there's a couple difficult things here. That's a dot. That's a dot right there. Good throw. Yeah, go Gibbs. What I say about running? Go Gibbs. Good stuff. Two rushes, 11 yards. Like I said, if he's not touching the ball 10 times a game, I think it's on me if I lose. One guy to beat here on a quick throw. It's just gotta, you just got to beat the safety. Push him. That's all right. Come on, Laporta. Nice catch. Laporta. Good dot. Good dot. Good dot. Good dot. Good dot. Come on, St. Brown. Dude, the freaking body control right there. That's perfect. He could not have done better with that. He could not have. Wow, that was amazing. Got him. Let's go. If Laporta is up there in touchdowns, who's to say he doesn't become a superstar? And they're like, who's to tell me? I don't know. With 600 yards for a rookie already? Mm. You're going to have a tough time convincing me he doesn't deserve XR. Okay, defense, we got to be great, fellas. Throwing on third down, Fields. Going for the deep ball. Yo. Oh. I, I'm not saying it is, but this he shouldn't be able to get a first down here. Best throw I've ever seen. Honestly, one of the best throws I've seen all year. That's a dot. Holy moly. Yep. Good pocket. Yep. Same bread. That's a dot, Goff. That is a dot. Go, Jameer. Go, Jameer. How much time do I want to give him here? This is just mad. It's just mad. Nice catch, J-Mo. That's frustrating. On second and ten, Fields. I hate it. It's good defense, though. Now after the loss. Now fields. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Dude. These are like, oh, that's a laser, though. The tight end in motion left. He's airing it out for Williams. Got him. Jameson! Williams! Good stuff, Jameson. Holy, that is a beam on fourth and short. I'm throwing that to Jameson. I knew it had a good chance to be open. I did. He's been just absolutely lights out in the red zone run D. Good job, Jameer. Okay. Make it interesting. Make him score. 
Okay, at some point, man, I gotta get off the field here. A read option there, bro? You're not, that's a me move. That's a me move. Oof. He thought it was about to be sweet. How do I get him off the field here? Tight slots. Act like we're not blitzing. Got him. Give me those, CJ Gardner Johnson. Hey. Safety you, baby. Safety University. Ba bam fellas. He's quitting with three timeouts, though? Just because I felt like it. Just because I'm mean and I felt like it. Good game, guys. Good game. Huge divisional that we got to play him again. You gotta, we got to play him again. It's not going to be fun. Uh, we got it like, hey, 254, two touchdowns for the current NFL MVP. And the show goes on, fellas. This, I actually think, I don't think I ever looked once I hit 80 at what abilities. Um, Goff gets on the I don't know if I ever looked out what new abilities I could get with him. Now that he's like plus three break sack. So he's an eight, I can get comeback. High point dead eye is a really good one. Oh, it's gonna glitch. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom, week 11. Um, that was a clutch win. It only matters if we keep winning. Um, 30 touchdowns to two interceptions. Jameer Gibbs, 400 yards. Jamison, all these guys. Like I said, if you were to like paint a picture of the season, this is good. Two and a half for the like. Honestly, our biggest issue is just the secondary. Our secondary is very, very, very weak. And how to address that, how to fix that, that's a very good question. That's a question that I'm finding myself sitting here asking. Um, as we get to the offseason, I think we're gonna be able to get more out more questions. I'm gonna be able to hopefully get some free agents. As of right now, I don't have even have a star dev guy. I'm just trying to get by with this secondary, get a few stops and put up a lot of points. Like we did last game, CJ, CJ Gardner Johnson clutched up for us um, and ended up winning that game for us. Going up against the Giants, um, only two wins. Hopefully this is a game that we can go throw the three and six Giants. Hopefully this is a game we can go in and uh, be great. Like I said, we're still the most valuable player of the, in the league. Um, we're number one in pass the rating touchdowns and everything. If I could pull this off with Jared Goff, probably one of the coolest things I've ever done in channel history. But let's not freak out yet. But it's been a lot of fun. It has already been a lot of fun. I'm going to go quick draw and tight out as my... Maybe high point dead eye, but... I feel like I don't... He's been dead eye with the high points already. Like, do I need high point dead eye? Maybe I'll go high point dead eye. Um, with Goff. But, like I said, he's progressing good. You love to see it. Um, week number 11. Let's go. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Come here. Oh. Hyatt's an interesting weapon for them. He really is. Bro, is that... Wow. Ah, uh, I messed up. I gotta get a sense for that. I messed that up. <laughs> Come on, St. Brown, you're the best. Yep, he's the best at that. Come here. Laporta, dot. Got him. Good dot. Good job, Gibbs. K. Okay. Now we get to come out of halftime with another drive just like that. Let's make this a game. Let's make him stress a little bit. Let's make him worried about blowing a 17-0 lead. I got him. Up top. Let's go, man. Hey, Jared Goff, are you MVP or are you not? This is the this is the question that everyone's wondering. Is Jared Goff MVP? Or is he just Jared Goff? We're about to show. Is that your MVP? 
Bang! Good dot, Jared. Okay, defense, one stop away, guys. Hey, we went 14-0. One stop away, let's end this. One stop away, let's end it. Yo, that's a book. That's a book. Sutton. Overthrow. Okay, now we got our chance. Laporta. Heads up, though. I want to score as fast as I can here just to get rid of the risk. And then we deal with everything else after that. Then we go play defense is the way I'm looking at this. Score. Let's go play some defense. Score. Laser to Laporta. Come here. That's great. I love that Jalen Hyatt. That's super good read against cover four. Okay, money that on me. Best in the league, get it. Good job. Drag the feet. I want to just score. I honestly, I'm not in the kill clock business here. I don't feel like this guy will score again on me. It's maybe that's cocky, but I I think I can stop him. Up, Gibbs. I do think I can stop him, but oh, Sam Brown. What a dot! What a dot! And what a catch! By that's a tough read to make, man. Said I'm not worried about the clock. It's a four. I'm up by four. This isn't good. This is not. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, what a sell! From the, no, 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 what? It automatically made me go to the one. It automatically, I kid you not, it made me go to the one. It automatically made me go to the one. Good job, Goff. Okay, that, with two timeouts, that's GG's. Oh my gosh, what a sell from Daniel Jones. But ladies and gentlemen, I will take this win, and I will take this win to the bank. Boom, what a come, this is what this team is made of. That is an MVP right there. A lot of adversity down 17. What does Goff do? He threw four straight touchdowns for 323 yards. I had to pass all game. Best players were our best players. And ladies and gentlemen, the show continues. The show freaking continues. You love to see it. Kirby Joseph gets an upgrade. Uh, I want him to get to a 90 speed. So I'm going to cross that. He's, he's got good size. He's a good player. There's an awareness, and, and he's star dev. I'm on our St. Brown, gets an upgrade as well. I'll go playmaker with him. He's been amazing. Guys, that's just a clutch win. I was worried at the beginning, not going to lie. They had me in the first half. I'm not going to lie. Now, I think I, I think the Bills, yeah, I got a relatively easy schedule. I think the Bills are playing. They might not be, but I know my last games, all of them are played. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 are all going to be games that are going to be played. So we might actually have a force win next week. I don't know that um, for certain. It would only be our second one. We'd still we've still played nine of uh, the eleven games, but I will know soon about that. But if not, I'm gonna see you guys for Jacksonville week um, when we go play a tough Jacksonville Jaguars team, and I believe we're on the road. So I'll either see you guys week twelve or week thirteen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom, we back, dude. Even in the force wins right now, this is this was my force win stats. Goff, bro. Oh my Goff. Hutch, three K. Okay. Yo, where's Hutchinson's breakout, man? Oh goodness. Okay, the good thing for Hutchinson is he like I got four. Look at these. My stats with Goff are disgusting. The good thing for Aiden, seven and a half for a rookie six TFLs. I would say he has a chance to potentially get superstar in the office. If we don't get that, like I said, I need him a superstar. I think 
if he becomes a superstar, it's going to change everything. Um, we're still MVP. The Jags are a tough out. Trevor Lawrence, good quarterback. Christian Kirk, I don't know much about their draft um, in draft, but we have four really tough games coming up. Like, boom, 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 boom. Four really, really, really good ones um, that we got to win all of them. These are our, our This is our toughest stretch by far this season. Then we got to play five tough games. They got to play the Bears again. This is going to make or break us. Um, how we do in these games will 100% really like tell us how this season is going to go and um, how are Jamison Williams. The crazy thing is once I do this, I think I can get route apprentice with Jamison um, plus an ability slot. So he can get deep in the light and wide receiver apprentice. So I could even go route apprentice here and yeah, like kind of a crazy start to his career. Like, I'm almost, I'm at a 79 slot, so like getting close there, uh, but not for that. Brian Branch, I, I'm i in between. He has been, I want to make this guy a superstar, and I've just been kind of like, oh, let's just let him play. I think that's has not been the best decision. I think I need to be using him. Um, I kind of want to just let him be a true safety and just enjoy that for what it is, but I actually think in a lot of ways that's hurting me more than it's helping me. So I think for the remainder of the season, um, you're going to see me user him because let's see, let's go to sub linebackers, Brandon Joseph. Yeah. I think for the remainder of the season, I'm going to use a Brian branch kind of like I did with Jalen Petrie and just hope that, um, that good things happen. I'll put, who do I want behind them? I want this Brandon Joseph behind them. Okay. Big game against the Jags guys. Let's go. Let's see. I just want a DB who can even one DB. They're going on fourth down. Lawrence. This one complete to Christian Kirk. Lawrence on third down. Come here. Tracy Walker. Oh, a little bit of an overthrow. Also, these these black uniforms. Shocked I have not used yet. I know this is DB Fire 2 and he's he's blitzing. Laporta. What a catch by Laporta. Come on. Swerve it though. Swerve it though. There it is. Just different right now, man. Is this the greatest? If I continue this, even remotely how it's been. Has Jared Goff just had the greatest season in TD Barrett quarterback? I don't want to say it yet, but it's kind of looking like it could be. I don't know. I think he is open. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so... He's the best. I never. I don't think I've ever had a better bad receiver than him. So we're just a walking like we just gotta get stops in the red zone. That's that's how this defense works. Uh, someone's gotta guard him. Yep, same Brown. Yep, same Brown. Laser. Got him. Laporta. Well done, Laporta. Okay, that makes it tough. Oh, okay, another hand. Like I said, at this point, I'm committed to MVP. I got 328 there. Um, Sorry, my camera was not focused. I got 328 yards right there. With Jared Goff, just continuing this, like, and he's starting to upgrade faster um, as well since he's become a superstar. I'm gonna go scrambler again. Um, just trying to get all of his. A scrambler is one of the better things to upgrade. Plus one break sack, 83 um, field general and rising. Like I said, if he wins MVP, he should get a significant amount of love. Um, from the game. And if he doesn't, there's a problem with the game. The game's just stupid. David Montgomery gets an upgrade. Haven't used him, but honestly, it's the Jimmy or Gibbs show. I gotta 
it, it was a good signing. I like I like the Montgomerys on the team, and he's a good player. I just it's the Jameer Gibbs show, bro. Uh, next week is the Vikings, and the Vikings are actually a different user than they were the first time you saw them. They actually have had a different user because the other one couldn't play. So this is uh, this is Isaac, and he's really tough. So we're gonna see you guys. This is not gonna be an easy game. Um, they're actually advancing right now, so we're about to find. I'm, I'm just gonna keep talking, bro. I don't gotta stop talking. I was out there waiting on me. First look at this. That's an interesting one. So I have a chance to make St. Brown an X Factor, which is obviously important. But this, guys, this is like I've never accomplished this. I've never accomplished an X Factor QB in literally third. This would be the greatest. TD Barrett CFM accomplishment ever. Getting him to X Factor already. I honestly think this would be the best thing I've ever done in the franchise. In one season. I'm not saying as a whole there's better stories than lines, but I'm saying in a regular season, if I can, like, I have been dialed in with this team. Like, Jared Goff is having the most impressive season in NFL history. Um, let alone franchise. Like, I'll break every record with him if I keep up what I'm doing. Not going to be easy against this opponent. He's got good defense. I know he's got good defense, but I just need four touchdowns. So if I can get four touchdowns with him, things are going to be very, very, very interesting. We got an 80 overall slot now with him. So now I can finally get short and elite with Jamison Williams, which is a huge thing. St. Brown gets an upgrade. I have a chance to make him an X factor, which would be so crucial for his long-term development. Like I said, that guy is... I'm not as worried about that as I am. If I can get Jared Goff to an X-Factor, dude, like, I don't know. What 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 do I, what do you say to that? If I go zero to X-Factor... Oh, sorry, Hendon. Like, sorry, bro. I'm having the greatest season of all time. Uh, I need four touchdowns. He got 90 throw power, 76. Jared Goff, I got a chance to make you uh, one of the league's best quarterbacks in one game, week 14... Let's go. Fourth down, Cousins. Got an open man finding Jefferson. The 20. Touchdown. I should be arrested. Another try after the first down sack. Gone. Dancing to his left. And that's caught inside the 45. On second and goal. That's bad defense. That's just 1 800 bad defense. Ooh, okay, that's one touchdown. Need four. Got him. CJ Gardner Johnson. What a play. What a play by CJK. That's an easy one. Laporta. Come on, stay in bounds, Laporta. He, he is every single time. St. Brown is just different. One for St. Brown. I don't know how many, how many do I need with St. Brown? I want you to throw that. Yep, you didn't know, but I wanted you to. See myself out. Thank you. Laporta, Laporta, up top again, Laporta. I think he's gonna leave St. Brown open here because I think he's gonna adjust that side. And he did. Yep, he's got it. Don't worry about him, he's got it. Crazy as that is, that's that's kind of my read here. Brett, I literally did not mean to throw that. I was trying to catch it. After I saw it, I was looking JMO. Okay. Ooh. No mistakes now. Don't do anything stupid in this situation because this this could get really bad if I do. Let's just try and get three points. Three points will help us win. Oh, I got him. Oh my gosh, I got him. He did not expect that. Go. You got to go, St. Brown. You got to go, St. Brown. That's three. That's three. Okay. I literally will run the ball to the one in QB sneak. Shot before break here. Gone. He's airing it out for Will. 
No chance I just did that. Guys, can I introduce you to um, the newest superstar on the team? The newest X Factor? The first X Factor on the team. Can I introduce you to him? Yeah, his name's Jared Goff. You probably didn't come to this video expecting to see... I know you didn't come to the video expecting to see Jared Goff and X Factor by week 14. And I just... That took a lot of guts to do what I just did to throw that ball. Hendon Hooker, we're going to get to see him play for the first time because I'm not risking any other picks. Goff, that was my only bad throw, literally in weeks. Goff gets his four touchdowns. We're going to run the ball, simplify the offense for Hendon, and try and get one more touchdown with St. Brown because St. Brown will become the next factor as well. Good job, Laporta. That's all right. Good job, Gibbs. Good job, Gibbs. I was trying to stop at the one and go for a jet sweep or something, but it's honestly probably better that we didn't. I want to secure this dub, fellas. Okay, St. Brown, if you can stay in bounds, break a tackle, you're an X Factor. Let's just take three. It is what I, I can't risk losing this game for this. It's definitely St. Brown X Factor. I might get another chance if he messes up here on the last drive. And if he quits, if he if he messes up and quits, we have a we have a dev rule about quitting. Because I'm three quarters of the way to it. So I think I would get it if he quits. Um but we're about to find out. Unfortunately, guys, oh, Hendon did a great job. I, I want to celebrate what happened because Jared Goff is an X Factor. I want to celebrate that and make sure that we take time to celebrate that. But I'm just, I was very close with, they might even give it to us with St. Brown. Sometimes they do if you're really close, but I did only get three touchdowns. Um, I needed four touchdowns, but I'm going to go QB breakout first, guys. Celebrate the positive of this entire thing. Jared Goff is officially our X Factor, bro. Jared Goff is officially our X Factor, which is super cool. 10 out of 10 cool. Shout out to Jared Goff. As far as... Well, I was going to... See, that to me is ridiculous. I don't even want to touch on that. I don't even want to talk. If I, The more I talk about St. Brown not getting X Factor, um, the more upset that I will get. I promise I will just continuously get more mad the more I talk about it. Um, it's just annoying. He should have. I did everything I could. But this, to me, guys, this is cool. I'm going to go with Bazooka because I throw the ball deep a ton on this team. Goff with Bazooka could be interesting. His XP bar goes down to 8,700. The guy has new life. He's got new life in his career, and we have given it to him. My God. Okay, we got the biggest game of the year next year. Uh, we're going to advance the best team in the AFC. We'll see you guys there. Okay, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the biggest game. So in the NFC, um, the Panthers is 11 and two and we're 12 and one. We play the Panthers. Falcons have slipped a little bit. We've clinched the playoffs, which is a huge win, but we play the Panthers next week. These two games back to back will decide almost everything. Um, if I win both of these, I think I have a very decent chance uh, and it's, but it's not even necessarily, but beating the Panthers is everything. I have to get the Panthers to more losses and I have to control the tiebreaker against the Panthers. That's, that is the most important thing. Sam Laporta gets an upgrade, um, to his vertical threat. This is my first game with Jared Goff X Factor. Like I said, the dude's got new life, 8,800 XP bar now. That's ridiculous. He has potential. I could make him the best quarterback in the league. We have honestly given the guy life, um, with our stats, he is the consensus MVP right now. Unanimous. Don't at me. He is the MVP of the league. Jamison Williams is up there. We got no defensive players of the year. Um, but either way, guys, it's the biggest game of the year. Let's go, Jets. They fake the give. Now Rogers. Okay. I gotta play that. Defenses can be the exact same way. I think we're seeing an example of it here. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. Here's Rogers to throw. Give me those. 
here's one that's intercepted. Picked off by Will Harris. Go, Will. Go, Will. Hey, everything happens as it should. We deserve the pick on the play before. We get the pick on the next one. No, that's not good. Yeah, I'm, I'm cooked. Oh, my God. This is so sick. First game with X Factor. Dude, when they just get X Factor, they play so much better, too. That, that's the crazy thing. Say Brown, laser. He should be X Factor, too. I want to. Ooh, that bugs me. Heads up. Laporta. Well done, Laporta. He's on his line. That's a laze. MVP. Come on. Good job, St. Brown. Uh, yeah, I get dotted. Okay. We get ball at half. We have a chance to go plus 14 here. If I'm smart and I throw good reads, we have a legitimate chance to go plus 14 here. But our defense, we're not getting stops. I, I, it's got to change. I don't know. I got to figure something out. Good job. Out of bounds. Am I out? Like I said, if I can get seven, if I can double sevens, I have a very, very, very good chance of winning. That's why I'm trying to stay locked in right here. This is a massive game for the one seed, which is what I'm I'm chasing. I got to be able to go double sevens. Okay. Same Brown. Out of bounds. Yes, sir. To the one. Thing is, he has three timeouts left, so I actually cannot end this. So I have to just try and score here. And Jamar, Jamir Gibbs got him. Okay, hold him to three is fine, because I have I get the ball at half. Three is fine. Seven would be really bad, but not the end of the world. But hey. We keep scoring, that's all we do. Just a beam. Just what? Oh wow. Mm, I don't got a lot of words for that one. I don't got a lot of words for that one, dude. I just don't have a lot of words for that one. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, take two steps this way. I had him, bro. Oh, I don't know I had him. Yeah, he ran into me. From the gun on third down, Rogers taking a deep shot here for Hardman, and this will be caught in the end zone. The last time they were out, they went for it on fourth down, did not get it. Yeah, he, he left it again. Like that, is, you're not going to be able to leave that twice. The first time was a fluke. The first time was an absolute fluke because I bumped into him. The only reason it happened on the first one is that because I bumped into the dude. It's a beam. St. Brown got him. Lazor, Jared Goff. I'm, and I'm right back in it. Dropped it. He's got to almost... Does he take three here? He is. E, I don't know if I would. I I respect him in a game like this. Three, I can go for... I guess a touchdown on plus eight and I can win. It's probably the move because I think he feels like he can stop us, but... I don't think he 
Let's go. Come on. Go, Gibbs. Go, Gibbs. Plus eight, Gibbs. See, with 355, I at minimum want to take some clock here. Go, J-Mo. Oh, my gosh. I had him, too. Hmm. Horrendous tackling on my part. Horrendous. Look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them. That's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to hey, where is Phil going? Ooh, I hate that. Got him. Okay, now he's at least we got a chance. You got to kick it. I retained. I retained two timeouts. Does he think Sauce can guard Jameson? Timeout. He literally thinks Sauce can cover Jamo here. I don't think he can. Oh gosh! Good try. Good try. Oh, did I have anybody? Yet? Like, did I have anybody else there? That's what I want to see. I haven't thrown two picks all year. Did I have any? That was a great effort at the end. Did I have anyone else here? I was looking for that corner right there, bro. Maybe if I highball it. It wasn't the worst concept I've ever drawn up. It really wasn't. Yeah, that was just. Just a good click on play. Easily could have went our way. Guys, the next game is the one that matters the most, the Panthers. Ugh, tough L. Still a good performance by a lot of our players. Um, but ugh, at the end of the day, it's, a, it's an L. And our defense is, I can't stop people on this defense. I should have been more aggressive, I feel like. I think I got to blitz people more. I gave him way too much time to sit in the pocket. Um, but... At the end of the day, it's neither here nor there. Plus one speed for Will Harris is actually clutch. That means one of my DBs is 91 speed. Okay, we got week 16 and 17, two huge games coming up. Then we got a force win in week 19. Two more, two more wins. I think we get the one seed. I For sure. If I win two games, I get the one. Hey, the show goes on, man. This is, this is kind of a battle for the one seed. If I'm, this is a huge freaking game. Um, yeah, this is just, this is a big, I, I, I've had good games against Darian. I've had bad. It's he is an interesting opponent for me. Um, dip, I'm in between a couple different playbooks to run against them. Overall, though, I think my defense I can be a bit more aggressive than I was. I need to just be more aggressive on defense. I think I'm just sitting back too much and I'm making myself. Hendon gets an upgrade. Is that his first? Dude, how do I even use this? this guy's got a 9,000. This is his first upgrade, man. That's what I'm saying. He's 25. Madden Oh, gosh. I don't really have plans at the moment to use him. But let's go look at Bryce Young. Um, Bryce Young is definitely our competition for um, MVP, 39 and 13. Miles Smiles, DJ Chark, bro. Just guard, guard DJ Chark. In the red zone, guard him. Every single play, guard him. Be smart. The way the playoff picture is set right now, it's probably the Panthers. It's us. If we win, I think we have a good chance to retain this. If we lose, I worry we end up there or there. If we lose, we're almost certainly not going to be the one seed. Biggest game of the season, bar none. Let's go. Be the top two teams in the NFC. Steps away to his left. He's airing it out for Williams. Oh, this is taken in from the red zone now. Gone. Laporta, that is a great throw, Goff. Got him. 
Good job, Jameer. Okay, hey, that's the bounce back that we needed. In a game like this, crucial game, we held them to three. We go get seven. We stop them again. We got a good chance to win this game. Don't miss the kick, though. Defense is everything right now. Get stops. Dots and stops. Dots and stops. Good job, Joseph. Yep, I was waiting for that. Was waiting for that. Good job, Joseph. Dot. Good throw, Brett. Play action. It's gone. It's a beam. Nice catch. Nice catch, Shane Brown. Hey, let's go. Defense. One more stop. We got a good chance to win this. One more stop. We got a really good chance. Hey, that's a good throw. I think CJ's got that. You see how he jumps? That's because he thought it was a pick. Hmm. Guys, I, I was trying. Oh, I was trying to put a... Got him. Oh my gosh, the clutch is too much right now. Could be the worst call of all time or the best. No in between. No in between, and it's the best. 352, are we taking it? Let's take it. Okay. We can't let him pass the 50, bro. We gotta play some intense defense here. The onside here, and I could be crazy. The onside here makes it so he can't end this game most likely cannot end this game i just don't i don't care i don't care what you say i don't care what anyone thinks like that's ridiculous Okay, time out. I only got one timeout left for the rest of this field. Look at the leg. Okay. Oh, I do I go for two? That's the that's your billion dollar quest. Do I go for it? Put the game in my own hands. If I get this, are we are we sending this into the atmosphere, bro? That's that's what I'm asking myself right about right now. He's back to throw. Yeah, that would They'll look to throw. Dude, the leg. What is with the leg here? Dude, this entire drive I have been lagging. So bad, it is incredible. I don't understand why. You got dots. Like we're we're playing in half speed. It wasn't like this at the start. We're, we're lagging horribly here. Minimum get out of bounds. Freaking a man. I think I would have had, but I don't know. That guy was there. 21 was there. And I, I wanted to throw the ball within two seconds. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Yeah. Got lurked. GG's, dude. Two tough L's at the end of, oh, to end the year. Well, we have one more. If we lose this one, man, we could slide way down. I think one seed is probably, is well, one seed is out of question with that loss, which it is what it is. We'll, we'll, we'll battle in the playoffs. Um, Jameer Gibbs had a really good game. Jamison had a really good game. That's just two tough ends. There, there was points in that game where I thought that was ours. It's just we weren't, we weren't finishing drives, and in life, you, sometimes you just get what you deserve. We're tied with the Bears. We might not even win our division, though, at this rate. Um, Panthers will take the one. Uh, how many losses do the Panthers have? Have are they, are they in one? Are they in two? Yeah, no, we would have won the one seed for that game. Hmm. 
Hmm, just means we gotta fight, fellas. Okay, Bears week next. Let's go. Oh, okay, ladies and gentlemen. Oof. Oof, 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 It's right. Um, I gotta win. Two losses in a row, two tough losses in a row. We're playing high scoring football right now. The five seed is the 40. Who's the Niners? I don't even. Don't want to play the Niners. I think I think the Niners are a pretty solid team. Oh, we gotta fight though. This this is the thing. This is the there's been lots of points of adversity. This is where we decide how we're gonna end this season. I, I just want to end this on a positive note. We got an MVP season from Goff. If we lose this game, like I said, we have a win. We we're, we've guaranteed playoffs. Jared Goff gets an upgrade, which is beautiful. Um, we've done so many things, so good. Let's. I just don't want to get discouraged from. One or two really, really, really messy games. And I think I just can't get off the field. And I don't know. I haven't struggled to get off the field. But we got a rematch against the Bears. I'll show you guys a season kind of breakdown statistically. Jared Goff, 49 touchdowns to 8 picks. Jameer Gibbs, 620, 10 touchdowns. Jamison, St. Brown, and Laporta all have 1,000 yards. That's the most ridiculous stat of the entire thing. 3,000-yard receivers trying to make 8.5 for Aiden. Um, five for CJ. I think one of these guys might be able to get some type of upgrade. It's either here nor there. Guys, hey, let's finish the season with a dub. Week 18 to force one. So this is the last game of the regular season. Let's go. Win the division. Yeah, give me those. Give me those. Thank you. Thank you, Branch. Thank you, Branch. Get up, Branch. Get up, Branch. Let's go. Get our swag back. Get our swag back for the playoffs. Good job. Good job, Gibbs. Got to get him going, man. Important part of this scheme, everything, I got to get. He has had not enough respect in my push to get our franchise quarterback. And I have my franchise quarterback now. So nothing else, man. I want to win MVP. I want those XP that come with the MVP. But Jameer Gibbs got to continue to make him great. It's on the list. And so I got to slow down games. And my games are taking too long right now. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, he's got Moody. Beat those teams first. That's your number one path to getting there, and they can get that done in this game. He's got a man complete. <laughs> From the gun on third down, Fields. He's gonna let it go again. <sighs> again, Fields. That's complete to Moody. Fourth, this at least we're forcing them to think here. Nope. Now a play fake and it's gone. That's into the hands of Cody Freeman. Off play action. Here's gone. Escaping the pressure right. That's caught inside the track. Just because it's a divisional game. Had to dance on him. Nice catch with Porta. Throw it away and take three. Dang, he did a, he did a good job. Well, I don't know if I love this situation. I'm happy with the result. I am horrible kicker. That should be, that's not good. I don't know what it is. Yeah, okay. Three score lead going to the fourth. That I feel good about. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with that win, third two and three, we take the division. I don't know who we play in the playoffs. I know it might be the Vikings, which is a scary, scary thought. Um, all I know is I just, I just want to celebrate this season that was had. It was, without a doubt, the best QB season I've ever had in my life. 
I, I think Jared Goff deserves an applause. I'll give more of an applause, hopefully, when he's officially the MVP. Um, I have some worry about Patrick Mahomes. Where is Mahomes? Like, I have a little bit of worry about Mahomes catching him because Mahomes has a lot of rushing, 432 on the ground. But I think we're leading the NFL in passing yards, leading the NFL in touchdowns, and leading the NFL in passer rating. Guys, I think we got it. Um, as far as stats, like I said, I want to do a bigger breakdown, but I just want to say Laporta, Sam Brown, and Jameson, all ridiculous seasons. Gibbs, unbelievable. Guys, hopefully we'll see you guys in the playoffs. we got a force win next week. So we might as well just go win the whole thing. Ladies and gentlemen, boom, playoffs. First things first. I just want to give some credit to the NFL most valuable. One of like, hey, this year I've won MVP with CJ Stroud, Jared Goff, and Justin Fields. I believe that's the only three. If there's been more, Jared Goff joins an elite group of TD Barrett franchise most valuable players. Huge shout out to him. Um, that's so cool. Jamison Williams is third offensive player of the year or defensive player of the year in the NFC. Defensive rookie of the year, it's Jameson and Sam Laporta. Defensive rookie of the year, I think. No, we weren't really even in contention for any of those. Best quarterback is Jalen um, or is Jared Goff. Guys, what a season. Like, I, I honestly, I can't say it enough. Just what a freaking season. Makes me almost like, hey, this was cool. Like, just even like, even if I know we got a lot of work to do and we're going to get the work done. Trust. Trust. We're going to get the work done. But... Even to just win MVP with Jared Goff, to me, is a dub. That's why I got this shirt on. This is kind of, I actually kind of like this shirt. It's fun. I feel like I'm a, this is a fun shirt. The Vikings are not my ideal matchup. Um, it, this is a tough game. This is not who you really want to see in the first round. This is a guy, sneaky good player. Me and him always have good games. Like I said, by sneaky good, I mean just like, he could he could run away with one. He's, he's the type of player who in a big time game, I don't know if this is who you want to play, but either way, we got to beat everybody if we're going to end up winning the entire thing. So it's a crazy important game. Uh, Sam Laporte is going to get an upgrade plus two deep route running, which is awesome. Paging agent Jamison Williams gets a plus one playmaker, um, getting him up to a true 88 overall agility catching traffic plus one spin move. Amandre St. Brown gets an upgrade as well. Ugh, I'll go playmaker with him. Like I said, we got some studs on this team, bro. Um, the plan is, and I know I said it later in the season, once I won MVP, um, that was one of the most important things to me, was winning most valuable player. I think it goes without saying, I, I really, really, really wanted to win that MVP award. Um, I don't know why. Do I not have it? I have it now. Um, threat detector is a very important ability. Let's go, yeah. Threat detector and post up. Brian Branch gets an upgrade as well. I went the entire year... Without, like, running a ton, trying to get MVP and trying to get X-Factor. And I did. And I think the reason why Hendon, no matter what happens in the playoffs, Hendon Hooker is in such an interesting spot is because of the following. Like, this entire season, he is barely upgraded. He has an 8,000 XP bar. Sure, he's a backup. But, like, I started as a 72 and I'm up to a 73. He's only getting older. And now Jared Goff's an X-Factor. So it's just like so many things change with that one thing. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just so many things. Had I, like, who knows? Maybe if I started Hendon, I could have had, I may have had the same production. But like, who's to say that? Um, coach, you're on your first playoff game. Playoffs is that under make sure how important is it to get the first? Let's guarantee the win. I, I want this game. We want to beat the Vikings. The Vikings are a tough team. He did a really good job this year. Um, you got to blitz them. And that's what I plan on doing all game. I, you got to blitz the Vikings because of Kirk Cousins at quarterback. They have two really good receivers. You got to get pressure and you got to just try and get stopped. The defense, he's going to play man press against me all game, just like he did in the regular season. Um, we just got to be better than it. Guys, shout out to the Lions. Hashtag MVP. Um, I'm going to spend my staff points and then I'm going to get into the game. Because I'll never fall in love again into I. Also, I do want to mention, I'm going to spend Fountain of Youth on quarterback. As crazy as that sounds, sometimes they'll literally make your quarterback regress because of age. 
Absolutely stupid. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's dance, fellas. Be smart, make good reads. Don't overthink the game. Just let the game happen. And I, I believe in us. I believe, I believe, I believe in this team. I believe in Laporta. I believe in Goff. I believe in the whole squad, bro. Look at Goff. Look at Goff with just a beam to a Monroe St. Brown. Go, go, Gibbs. Come on, Gibbs. Get out of there, Gibbs. Go! Jameer Gibbs. Hey, playoff Gibbs. Playoff Gibbs. Playoff Gibbs. Playoff Gibbs. Let's go. Be smart. That's 7-0. Literally my user guy. Good defense. You gotta take three here, right? That's ridiculous. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have to, Good job. to keep them. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. That's such a beam, Brett. Such a beam. Good throw. Off play action. Here's gone. Man open at St. Brown is gone. To throw on second and six. Beam freaking dot. Oh, good throw, Jared. Good throw, good throw, good throw. Now on second and thirteen, Cousins. He's gonna air one out. Give me that. That's ridiculous. Literally a freaking ball. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Come here. Okay. He gets three. Sadly, he gets ball at half. That's the thing. Unfortunately for us, he does get ball at half. Still think that one that he threw to Addison was a book, dude. I'm convinced that Addison throw was a picture book. Like, that was not a good read. I don't care what anyone says. That was not a good read. Job, Laporta. Holy moly, this game was not what I wanted this game to be. From the 41, gone. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's gone. You gotta laugh, bro. You gotta laugh. What am I gonna do, man? I get lost the entire game and then this freaking Harrison Smith goes Superman for the win. Oh my goodness. Holy moly. Get him off of you, me, please. Go, 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 go. On second and goal. Okay. We get, we're giving ourselves a chance, man. That's all I can do is give myself a chance. I only have three timeouts. It would take a lot to get us off the field. But at the end of the day, all I can do is ask to give myself a chance. Oh, my. Dude, the, the animations this guy got were outstanding. 
The animations were just baffling that he got this game. Like baffling. Oh my gosh, man. Okay, we're getting the ball back, fellas. Oh, never say die. Never say die. Got him. Okay, defense, playback. Playback. We did everything to get back in this. Playback. Give me those. Give me that. How did he get that one on one? How on earth did he get that one on one? I don't know. I will take it. How did he get Jefferson on Christian Harris? Don't know. That's fight, dude. This team's got fight. That's all I can say is this team's got a little bit of fight. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I got one on one with Christian Harris, but I will. Fight, dude. Fight. Jared Goff's my quarterback. Oh, GG's, man. I, I thought I lost it on the superhero pick. But ladies and gentlemen, what a game that last one was. Hey, all I look at this, guys, we're three games away from doing something amazing. And why not us? Why not us? I believe in the offense. Defense, there's a bit of trouble. We're going against the Eagles, bro. This is, this is probably the best team in the entire game. Um, Roster-wise, this team is bananas. He just beat TSAP. This is the most complete roster in the game. If you're talking offense and defense, it does not get more complete. We got upgrades with Aiden Hutchinson. Hopefully his numbers are enough. Hope I'm crossing my little fingers for an off-season superstar for Aiden Hutchinson. Jameer Gibbs goes up to an 85. Great rookie season for him. Broke a lot of big-time runs for us. Um, I do want to touch on, before we get into this game, the college stuff. Because um, I feel like it's definitely worth getting a conversation going about where my head's at. As far as um, what in the off season, no matter how the rest of this goes, what I'm thinking now to me the biggest position of need right here. I need one of these guys, bro. I need I honestly McKinstry would be amazing. Burke, Marshall, Chapel, Storm, Duck. It's a good like Dante. It's a good DB draft, which is like thank goodness that it is a good DB draft because man oh man do we need it. Um, I, I would consider trading up for some of these dudes. Like I honestly, I trade some of my weapons just to get, like, I really feel like I'm in a bit of a desperate situation where like, I, I would trade future stuff to try and get my secondary better for next year. That's what I'm saying. I feel like our offense has, we have the tight end, we have the running back and we have the receivers. I feel good about a lot of those positions. Um, but let's talk about the 95 overall Eagles. Um, they definitely deserve to be mentioned here. X-Factor, Jalen Hurts. Um, he got him to X-Factor, meaning he gets throwing abilities. Um, set feed lead, fearless, gunslinger, protected, and horror master. All the best abilities in the game. Start with that. DeAndre Smith, Swift running back. A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, and then 98 speed Quez. Dallas Goddard. The D-line is where it's at. Um, Jalen Carter, superstar. Jordan Davis, superstar. Fletcher Cox. Look at this. Look at this freaking D-line group. Hassan Reddick, um, and then Nolan Smith. <sighs> DB, they got Slay, Ringo, who's unbelievable in Madden, Eli Ricks, and Josiah Scott. Sidney Brown at safety. Shout out to the Canadian. Sidney Brown, love you, bro. I don't know you, but I'm just saying. Shout out to you for being Canadian. <sighs> Guys, this is going to be a fight. It's going to be one of those games we just, we just got to be better. I think the defense is going to be tough to run on. I think the offense is going to be tough to stop. But at the end of the day, we got the MVP on our team. Who's going to bet against me? Not me. Let's go. Now it's gone. He's airing it out for Williams. This is Brady Williams picks it off. And the Eagles are to throw again. 
again on second down. Hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. They'll run for the first Better defense. Okay, it's important to me here I hold him to three. If I, if I let him get seven, it becomes a whole different game. Um, stupid decisions yield stupid results, and you guys saw that firsthand with me. Like, you can't start a game like this. Hmm, and when you do, it just means you got to fight. It means you got to fight more. That's horrible. How though? That I'm not okay with. That's such a beam. Such a beam, Goff. Laporta. Too much fight over here, bro. I know you're the Eagles. I know you're the best team in the NFC. I know it. Believe me. I know it. But I'm not just going to go home. I'm going to fight tooth and nail. Let's go. Cool. Fourth and 16. I motion block, get myself time, and deliver a dot to Josh Reynolds. And then Gibbs clutches up for us. Okay. Seven up, bro. Seven up, seven up, seven up. Come here. Okay. Good job, defense. We earned that. that. That was not given to us. We earned that stop. We should have had that stop on the last drive. We earned that stop all the way. And I'll own that. We definitely struggled a little bit against him. So I got to be careful. I got to make sure I'm getting the right blocking assignments because there's been no easy yards over here. There really has been no easy yards. One guy to beat. Go. Jameer Gibbs. You got to go, man. Actually, best case scenario right there. Goff now looking to throw. He's got his man. It's caught for a touchdown. Love that guy, dude. How much time did we leave him? Five seconds? For them to give him a little job of confidence moving forward. Ah. Throwing on second and 14. Hurts. This is caught. I'm not throwing that, but <laughs> come on, man. Good defense. Fourth down. Good defense. Back to throw. This is I think I'm actually might quit this game. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he's gonna take this one down. Throwing from the gun, it's hurts. And this is caught. That's Watkins. Hurts. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal. That's GG's, fella. Prior to this upcoming second down play. One more time with Swift. And he's in. A coach is writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw. I did not get out of bounds. How did he not get out of bounds? Oh, I thought I was running up. Now it's gone. Open man right side is St. Brown. 
That's out of bounds. Taken in by Jamison Williams. And they're going to move it down the inside the 25. Goff now to throw. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. I scored too soon. In my opinion, I scored too soon. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. Okay, we're going to OT, I guess. He did not want to give me the ball back. Whoa, we get to play. Hey, clutch drive, dude. Clutch drive to force OT. He did not want to give me the ball back. So he ran the clock. I was cool with him running the clock out on himself. You want to kick here if you're him. Yeah. Okay, seven, fellas. Seven, seven, seven. And then we got to just hold them. We win. Oh my gosh. This is where the new rule comes into effect. In past years, this game's over. They've got a chance though to match touchdowns now. It's first down. Come here. Make me Oh my gosh, man. What world are we dropping that? That's, that's, that could have been a pick too. That's two in a row that should have been picked. Okay, make him fight here, dude. This, this is where you win game. He thinks he has no time. I think he thinks if it runs out of time, he's, he loses. It does not run out of time, but that, that's in my favor that he thinks that. Hurts will throw. And he will get into the end zone as they run in deep. How many ridiculous catches is AJ Brown going to make to end our season? Man? How many contested catches? Contested catches is AJ Brown gonna make. The way I see it, bro, I had two picks on that final drive. That's the way I see it. Mm, I played his I played my heart out. I messed up on the first drive. Just could not get him off the field. Similar to the that's similar to the touchdown that he caught earlier in the game. That fourth and goal one, bro. Oh my gosh. Mmm. And then a fourth. We allowed two fourth and twenty two. Good season, guys. Oh man, I feel cheated, but okay, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, oh, we get an upgrade to Jared Goff. Damn! Mmm! I wanted that one, bro. I wanted that one. I really, really, really wanted that one. Don't under. It just bugs me. That's twice that he threw just like low. That That's a good throw. Hey. All you can ask for is a good game. I don't know if any of these other guys are YouTubers, so I don't know if we're going to have any um, matchups in terms of the... I, I want someone to at least show the Super Bowl so this video is not just over. So, I'm proud of our season. Good game. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mike Two Wavy, and this is Super Bowl 57. We have Will Levis, Derrick Henry, and the Tennessee Titans taking on Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears. Second to 10, the Tennessee Titans come out and gun bunch. They audible down the gun doubles. And I believe that the Titans are looking for the slant uh, cross combo. And he hits the cross over the middle. Chagosium Okonkwo for a 19-yard gain. He makes some audibles. He snaps the ball. Will Levis drops back. He's looking over down to the right side. He hits. Who is that? He hits Traylon Burks to the right side for a first down. Looking for the slant post combo. 
He rolls left. He rolls right. I mean, he throws back over, crosses his body to the left side for a touchdown. Number 85, Chagosium Okonkwo. Justin Fields making hot routes. Checking out the defense. Justin Fields drops back. He throws it over the middle to the left side. And that is a gain of six yards to Dante Pettis, I believe. And he's going for it. Fourth down, fourth and five. Dylan looks like he's bringing the heat. Um, the, Justin Fields drops back. He's looking for he's looking for somebody, and he doesn't get anybody in completion. Don't never give Dylan the short field because he will take advantage. The Titans hand the ball off to Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry cuts up the middle. He had a lane, and he gets down to the 12-yard line for an 18-yard rush, and that is the end of the first quarter. It appears that they're going to run the same play that he ran to score the touchdown to begin with. And he does, and Chagosia McConquo gets open across the middle for another Tennessee Titan touchdown. Khalil Herbert gets a big play. He comes back out, read option, Justin Fields takes it, and he fumbles, and number 12 picks it up. And number 12, it looks like he's gone. Oh, my goodness, what a play. He's at the 30, the 25, 20, 15, and he's down at the 13-yard line. That's DJ Moore. Play action. He's looking for a pass. Justin Fields rolls out to the right, and he's getting chased. And he just has to throw the ball away before he gets sacked. Oh, that's not good. It is now fourth and goal at the two-yard line. Chicago Bears are coming out in tight slots. The, deep, the Tennessee Titans are coming out in 3-3-5. Three, three, Justin Fields making hot routes. Looking, trying to cook up a dot right here. Eight seconds left on the play clock. Number 84 comes in motion. Justin Fields drops back. He's looking for a pass. He tries to get it over the middle to Khalil Herbert, but it is picked off by Kevin Byer. 48-yard line. 34 seconds left in the half. Will Levis drops back. He's looking for a pass. He throws it over the middle to Conquo, but it gets picked off by Jaquan Brisker, and Brisker is Brisker's getting chased, and he's down at the 31-yard line. The Bears come out in gun tight. He brings Tanya in motion. Justin Fields drops back. He throws to the left side to DJ Moore for the touchdown. Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears come out in gun bunch. Gun bunch tight end. I'm sorry. Justin Fields drops back. There's pressure off the left side, but it's also picked up. But he has a pass over the middle. Number 11, Darnell Mooney comes up with a big catch over the middle. And it appears, Justin Fields is going to drop back. There's Jeffrey Simmons screaming off the left side. Justin Fields running away. He's trying to get away. He can't do anything with it. So he's just going to throw the ball out of bounds. And he's going to take his field goal. Very smart move from the Chicago Bears. Um, in my opinion, he should have done that to begin with on the third, on the fourth down at the goal line when he threw the pick. Tennessee Titans have the ball and gun bunch. He hands the ball off to Derrick Henry. And Derrick Henry finds a lane. And he gets a gain of eight yards right there. Pierce is going to hand the ball off once again. He hands it back to Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry finds the light to the left side. Derrick Henry gets a gain of 11 yards on that play right there. And the slant uh, crosser combo has been working for him today because the user has to choose who he's going to who's gonna play. And he pass, and Will Levis gets the ball to Traylon Burks once again. Tennessee Titans come out and gun bunch once again. Audible to gun, doubles, and... Will Levis hands the ball off to Derrick Henry, and Derrick Henry is stopped at the 24-yard line for a gain of nothing. Tennessee Titans get a delay a game. That really is not going to matter here. Fourth and 11. The kick is up, and the kick is good. The Tennessee Titans go up 10. Chicago Bears come out and gun bunch. Um, he fakes the ball to Khalil Herbert. He's under pressure, and he is sacked by Harold Landry. Bears come out in tight slots. He audibles tongue it over to the right, to the left side. He picks up the block. Justin Fields throws a bomb down to the right side, and it is caught by number 18. 18 at the 5. Touchdown. Oh, my goodness. What did I just say? Something huge can happen, and something huge happened. Oh, my gosh. This is now a three-point game with 25 seconds left, and the Chicago Bears have all three of their timeouts. What a play from number 18 in Justin Fields. And obviously, the Bears are going to kick the onside kick right. Obviously. It's obviously going to happen. Um, he kicks it. And number 16, Traylon Burks, picks it up for the Tennessee Titans. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. 
With 23 seconds left, it appears he's going to hand the ball off to Derrick Henry. Oh, and number 99. He's going to pass the ball. He's the audible from gun bunch to gun doubles. He has the he drops back looking for a pass. And he is sacked once again. It's for him to punt, try to pin his opponent deep. And Derrick Henry finds a lane, but he is tackled at the 45-yard line. The Titans come out and prevent defense. Very smart of the Titans to come out and prevent. No, no, you can have anything over the middle. Just don't give him nothing deep. Justin Fields drops back. He's looking for a pass. He will not get one because Harold, not Harold, because Jeffrey Simmons will beat the right tackle and seal the game for the Tennessee Titans. And they are your Super Bowl 57 champions, man. Hard fought season for the Titans. They started out bad, but Dylan came in and took this team from fourth in the division, dang near last in the conference, to Super Bowl champions. What an amazing story for the Tennessee Titans. What an amazing story for the Chicago Bears. This is the stock Bears. You know, no, only one superstar and DJ Moore, Justin Fields. They're the, really the only two weapons on this team, and he gets to the Super Bowl, but the Tennessee Titans pull it out, and as you can see, they're celebrating. The Tennessee Titans, man, the very first Super Bowl in Titan or Euler history. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's been like two hours. Still mad. Still mad at myself. Um, guys, off season. Couple really good things that I want to show you. Um, and then also, I'm going to show you guys the Super Bowl. I'm going to get Micah, uh, Mike Two Wavy to commentate the Super Bowl. Guys, Jared Goff, this is the one thing that I am absolutely fuming at right now, if I'm being honest. Um, so I won Most Valuable Player and uh, QB of the Year, and I was the NFL passing rating leader, and I get one XP boost. You can't make this stuff up. I'm pretty much at my second one. Like, I'll get my second one here soon, and I get another ability slot. But, like, I was really, really, I'm really disappointed in this. I honestly was expecting, like, to, and yes, my field general, I think, is my best chance. I can get Hot Route Master, but I don't really need Hot Route Master because of what I'm about to show you. So, other amazing things that we earned from this season. St. Brown is officially an X-Factor. He had such a good year, he becomes a superstar X-Factor. Um, he gets double me. He gets short and elite. We have another X Factor, Paging Agent Jameson. Um, for his awards, he gets two things, um, and he is also a X Factor now, meaning that he gets double me. What a season for Jameson Williams! Um, I want to celebrate it. We gotta talk off season though, and I want all the comments to let me know what do I do in the off season. We're gonna look through the rookie class. We're gonna look through everything. The thing I want to talk about the most is Sam Laporta. It weirdly converted him back to hidden. But look at that. Staff week development trait increase plus superstar depth. I'm actually going to get someone to make him a superstar now because I just want to look at it. Okay, there it is. Guys, we earned this. This one um, this one does not come as a surprise to me. I think he was an amazing player this season. Um, I said, in no way does this come as a surprise. Slot apprentice, short out elite, um, vertical threat 81. Our offense, we got Laporta superstar. Jamison, like our offense is set, bro. Jared Goff, we have our quarterback. Our offense is set. Defensively, this is where we're an absolute dumpster fire. So I got, I was hoping for a CJ, a Sutton, a Rodriguez, a Campbell. I was hoping for anything in the offseason. We got nothing. The main one that I wanted was Aiden, and I'm going to do everything I can next season to get Aiden. But I think, guys, we need to draft defense. Our offense is really nice. But off-season-wise, I need to know where you guys think I should spend my money. What you guys think I should do. In as much detail. And prospect-wise, who I should draft. Do I trade up and try and get... I think edge rusher-wise, I'm happy. I need to get one of these corners. If you watch college football, let me know what corner to get. Let me know where to go. Do I, do I try and trade up into that top few picks? And get like the best corner in the draft, you know? What does a man do? I these are the questions. If there's obviously like the first thing I'm gonna be doing in free agency, I'm telling you guys right now. The, I got 38 million. I don't know why I have 38 million. Um, we're pretty broke over here for a team. Like we spent a decent amount of money, but I gotta try and make some cuts that save some money. Goff's one of them. He's gotta get paid next year. Our finances are not necessarily 
in order to make a ton of big moves, if I'm being honest. But if there's the only thing that I think is like could help us out so much is we got to build this defense. We built the offense year one into something that is terrifying. We built it into something that is terrifying. We have an X factor in Goff who is still young, an 85 field general. Like this guy, he's about to get another upgrade, so he'll be an 86, 90. Like I, he's an MVP. I think this is the coolest thing I've ever done on the channel. 54 touchdowns, nine picks. Bar none, shut him up, coolest thing. I took the number one overall pick in 2017 and gave him life in 2022 by winning the MVP. That's cool. I have St. Brown and Jameson, the greatest duo in sports. I made Laporta have the greatest rookie season in tight end history. This ended sad, but we don't have to be sad. I honestly, I'm mad about the game. I wanted this so bad. I felt like I could have won the bowl. I felt like I could have beat the Bears in the NFC chip, but it, it just didn't work out that way. And that's life, and that's how it works. I'm going to show you guys the Super Bowl. Um, and then, like I said, please, in detail, let me know what I should do next. All I ask. Detail, what does Brett do now? Love you guys. Thank you for everything. I'm sorry I let you down. Kill like button for the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a second channel where I post hockey gameplay. Please go subscribe. The nicest thing you do to me, just go check out that channel. Leave a like. Even if you don't like hockey, give it a chance. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, my Instagram is at BrettBQB. My Twitter is TDBearYG. I am a part of Top Dog Madden. You can get all the best tips at topdogmadden.com for your ebooks, all those type of things. Thank you guys so much for watching. Kill the like button again. If you haven't killed the like button on this video, do it. And once again, go check out my hockey.